the job openings every year are five to seven jobs, and it also seems like there are five yeah. to six teams every year that didn't make the playoffs before that make them the next year. I mean, that's like death and taxes. Yep. It happens every year. So five teams that missed the playoffs last year, the Bills, Packers, Vikings, Steelers, 49ers would be in the postseason if the season ended today. Which one of those teams, uh, we're talking to Albert Breer from MMQB, Dan Helley filling in for Rich Eisen, which one of those teams, Albert, is the most surprising to you right now? Run them down against the 49ers. Uh... 49ers, Steelers, Vikings, Packers, and Bills. I would say the Steelers. I understand like a lot of people would say Bills. I actually like what they're building there. And I think they benefited from a really soft schedule. Um, you know, I think the Steelers are the ones. Um, based on everything they've gone through, and I think it's a great credit to Mike Tomlin, but um, based on everything they went through this offseason, the drama, losing Antonio Brown, um, which was basically kind of like the, that was the first, what, two weeks of their offseason they're dealing with that. Right. Um, at a very, very loud level, and then it sort of lingered for the next two months before they traded him. Um, obviously, like separating from Le'Veon Bell, and then you have the quarterback injury in week two. Um, you know, and they've sort of had to, I think what's, what's really interesting about it is they sort of had to, like, reimagine their team. I mean, they've been an offensively driven team for so long, and now they're winning with defense, and they're sort of, you know, managing the offense in a certain way where. Um, you know, the, it, it sort of almost looks like a, like an older school Pittsburgh Steelers type of team. And so being able to sort of change who you are on the fly, manage injuries, uh, manage all of like the sort of noise around the team. Uh, Mike Tomlin's done a fantastic job and that we're sitting here at the end of the season and the Steelers are still alive, despite the fact that, and you know, I watch a lot of college football, mm-hmm. right, Dan? Like, hey, they have a guy who I'd never heard of at the beginning of the year, full disclosure, starting as a quarterback. Um, it really, really remarkable. So I go with the Steelers on that list. Well, I, I, I don't think it's a surprise, uh, Albert. Not many people have heard of, of Devlin Hodges, uh, the state yeah. duck-calling champion from Alabama. To be honest, I, I hadn't either. Uh, plays his college ball yeah. at Sanford. Um, all right, let's go from most surprising to, to most disappointing. Um, there's a number of teams on this list. You know, if you're in Cleveland, certainly they have to be one of the teams that you're looking at. Um you know, the Falcons have not lived up to expectations. The Chargers, uh, the Chargers are a team that some people pick to go to the Super Bowl. And I, I mean, they potentially could win out to get to eight and eight and salvage a semi respectable season. But is there one team yeah. that sticks out to you that you, you thought would be playoff bound that's now trying to figure things out? Yeah, I'd say the Chargers are a little bit more explainable. You got an older quarterback, you lost your tackles. Uh, that's obviously going to have an effect. You had the Melvin Gordon holdout. Uh, you had Derwin James's injury. So I think it's a little easier to explain that away. Like when I talk to guys from other teams, I think the one that sort of perplexed everybody inside the league is the Falcons. And, you know, you look at the roster, it feels like it's a good roster. Most of the people I know have a lot of respect for Dan Quinn as a coach. Uh, he was able to get them to a Super Bowl four years ago. And for one reason or another, it just hasn't come together. Um, you know, the offensive line, they did a lot of work to try to fix it in the offseason. Had some injuries there, and that hurt. But you, know, you still look at where they are team-wise, and it's, this should be a much better team than it is. And so I would say if I had to pick one team that was the most disappointing in 2019, it would be the Falcons. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.